Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In this video, I am updating my How to Mine Electronium video to Electronium's latest fork that occurred earlier this week. I'll show you an easy way to CPU and GPU mine for both AMD and NVIDIA Electronium using XMR Stack and the Nanopool Mining Pool. Earlier this week on block height 307,500, Electronium forked to a new updated CryptoNote algor algorithm called Kryptonite V7. This change makes Electronium ASIC resistant and provides other um, features that I've, I've gone over in an earlier video. But with that being said, let's get on to the video. To get started mining, we will need first a couple of things. And let me open my notepad. Oops, not the command prompt. We want to get the notepad. First thing we will need is our Electronium address. So in this example, this is the address where I'm going to mine to. Next, we need the mining pool address. And in for this example, we're going to use nano pool. So this is the nano pool, and here's the website, and I'll put a link there. If you go to help, you're going to see the different information in here, and you're going to see all the different pool servers. You want to select one close to you. So for me, I'm going to check this uh, US West, and I'm going to paste it just to have it handy. And we're gonna need the port, the stratum port, which is 13333. So I'm just gonna copy that and then take it back to my notepad and type colon. So just gonna have that, those two information handy. Once we have that information handy, we can download the miner and we're using XMR um, stack. And I'll put the link in the description below. So to download the miner, go to this website, just click on the win64.zip and save. And to save time, I've already downloaded it and I have it on my desktop. So I'm gonna minimize this. Let's put this on the side here. And then I'm gonna right click the download and select extract all. I'm gonna click on extract. And then you can see here's the files. I'm going to double click into the folder and we're going to see this xmr-stack.exe. Now we're going to double click it. And I'm going to click on more info and then run anyway. Now it's going to ask a couple of questions here and it's going to, let's make this a little easier to read. One moment here. Make the font a little smaller. Okay. So the first question, we're gonna put, just put zero and hit enter. Next it's gonna ask for the algorithm and the algorithm is kryptonite underscore V7. And I've already typed it out here, so I'm just gonna paste it, but you can type it, hit enter. Next it's gonna ask for the address pool. So let's go back here going to copy this, right click, copy, and then I'm going to go here and right click it to paste it and hit enter. And it's going to ask my username, which is my wallet address for this pool. So I'm going to double click that, right click, copy, and then go back here and right click, paste, and hit enter. Password, I'm just going to put X and then enter. And identifier, I'm not going to put any identifier. I, I don't know if this pool supports it, but I'm just going to leave it blank. And it does support SSL, but we are not mining to the SSL port, so I'm going to type N and hit Enter. Don't want to use ha nice hash, so I'm going to click type N and hit Enter. And I'm not using multiple pools, so I'm going to type N and Enter. And I'm going to click Yes when prompted. And as you can see, it's compiling already. And once it's done, it'll take a while for it to compile, 
But once it's done compiling, we should uh, see some hashes being submitted. There we go. See, so we are logged in. And we're just waiting to see if um, we are getting um, shares being submitted to the pool. Now, just to let you know, um, while this is going, I'm going to go back here. Electronium at this time is they're they're I guess they're having an issue with the difficulty and they have to mine so many blocks before the difficulty uh, can get lowered. Um, the issue with the difficulty being so high was there was a lot of ASIC miners mining electronium, but now with the new algorithm, they are unable to mine it, so all that hashing power is no longer there. So the hard part is we just gotta wait. Oh, so we got some results accepted by the pool. So I'm not sure how uh, long it takes, but let's see what we're getting right now. If you type, if you type H, you get this. It shows what is your hash, hash rate. And to check on your mining, you can go to the Nanopool website, and then if you paste your address in here. Once a share has been accepted, you should see some stats. Now, right now, I haven't had an accepted share, but it's, so you're gonna see it's not found. But eventually, um, once it's done, or once it does accept it, you'll see it. Now, right now is a really hard time to get some stats be with the state of the Electronium blockchain right now with a high difficulty. So I would suggest if you start mining now to just check on it a bit later. So let's get back to the miner and just wait a bit. So I'm gonna pause this video until uh, hopefully some shares will be showing and then we'll get some feedback here on the Nanopool website. So a couple minutes passed and I'm gonna check the, elect uh, the Nanopool website to see if we are register our, our mining rig is being registered to on their site and earning electronium. So let me copy my address, go to the Nanopool website, and up here you can paste your address and click search. And yeah, so earlier we weren't even registered on this website, and as you can see, we are earning some electronium. We already have an unconfirmed balance, but um, the only thing is, it looks like this is not up to date yet with the uh, hash rate. So, anyway, um, that's it. So this does both work for NVIDIA and um, AMD. So either processor, either uh, GPU you use, uh, that's a nice thing about uh, XMR stack. You can just download one and it will, it will automatically configure itself for whatever type of GPU. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.